Uh, focus camera. Any minute now. There we go. What's going on, people of the internet? So we figured we'd give you a um, an update on some things. Um, in case you've been wondering, you know, what's going on with the Jeep. Uh, oh. Well, there it is right there. Okay, well here's your Jeep update. So we finished the radiator install and the water pump and the old change and uh, all of that good shit. And that pretty much covered it. And then it popped a couple fuses that controlled all the gauge lights. And we fix those. Now all that stuff works. Still gotta order front window motors for that one and this one. And put the door panels back on to make it all look pretty. But yeah, for the most part, it's uh, working good. We are. Um, moving some money around and some cars and stuff to get some money in so that we can uh, change out all the suspension. Gonna try to do a rough country lift and probably do a, uh, a three inch suspension lift. Uh, we think that'll work, work out just fine. And then some, uh, from what I see, people are doing a three inch lift and then 32s. So I guess that'll be the way we go. But looking underneath it, y'all can see it's not as rusty as uh, everyone seemed to made it out to be. It's got rocker rust. And uh, someone was commenting like, gosh, all that rust. And I was like, nah, no, not really, because check it out underneath here. This is, uh, this is clean. This is, uh, this is very, very clean. For an XJ. I mean, it's good. It's real good. Got some ratty exhaust on it, but she's Gucci other than that. So got it tagged and insured and Jesse's been driving it. Haven't had any more problems since we loaded the parts cannon. Cooling seems to be fine. Stalls out every now and then, but uh, and the headlights keep cutting off and yeah, and the headlights have a short in them or something. They just seem to turn off and on as they please. But you know, no more fluid leaks, nothing like that. It's retaining water, running cool. Just in case anybody was wondering. We still got it. Yeah. And uh yeah. all back together. So anything else you care to add? Nah. Uh, I don't know. So we just figured we'd let y'all know that it's still here, still alive, still running. We kinda ended the last video abruptly oh yeah we got an ignition switch now no more yeah. screwdriver yep we got a, an ignition in it uh safety neutral switch is still kind of a pain in the ass but seems to be okay motor seems to be strong it's got that clatter in them that every freaking xj sorry every the 4.0 seems to get after a while the crank bearings but it's nothing major. They run. So now we're just waiting on getting a lift so we can do more off roading. I mean, it's Jeeps are pretty capable as they are. However, 
we like to be able to crawl a little bit more than just some small hills in my backyard. So as fun as this is, it could be more fun. In fact, we may try to clear some more of this out. I might go get some hedge trimmers and we might go freaking just crazy down in here real quick. So make us a trail. Rip some trees out of the ground there in my way. Yeah. I need a chainsaw. Yeah. I wish I had one. How did you got one? I'm just gonna get it. Then Ed might get down with it. I figure what we do. Let me go get them hedge trimmers and get the Jeep back down in here and I'll just ride on the fucking Jeep and we'll just go through and hack them all out. Oh yeah, definitely. Let's go get some hedge trimmers. All right guys, we're gonna, this will be part one of uh, the Jeep is back to life and it's all pretty and running now, so that's good. Now I need to go find my keys so we can get in the building so I can get some trimmers so we can make us some Jeep trails. All right guys, stay tuned for that part. That'll be in another video. This is just an update on the Jeep Cherokee and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Tell us some more stuff we should do to the Jeep to bulletproof it. We're thinking, you know, definitely needs like brush guards and shit like that. But as far as we got it now, mechanically, it's ready to go. So yeah, like light bars and the, you know, the typical Jeep douchebag stuff, roof rack, spare tire on the top. Maybe screw some brackets on the trunk lid to put some jerry cans on it. I don't know. Who knows? All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one when we're off-roading in this thing, kind of.